Okay, we're going to talk about two drains here. The first one I'm going to talk about is this one. This one right here is an adjustable drain. So when it's bolted to the floor, this adjusts up and down. This is a good drain. But what this one is made for is it's for a pan liner. And basically, you take this cover off and you cut you put your pan liner on, uh, around these bolts and then you'd cut this circle out and so these bolts would hold your pan liner in. Then you'd slide this back on and then you'd bolt this tight. And this would be down on the floor and then you'd run your pan liner up the walls. And that's how uh, I used to do it. I don't do it that way anymore. And then the other thing you can see with this one is there's got it has lots of places for the water to flow when it comes through these little holes. So it'll water will come through and right onto the pan liner it'll drain through there. These top five holes are four holes. Water can come through there. And then also if you look inside here, there's grooves where there's not any uh, threads. So the water has many places to go. I just personally don't like a shower pan liner. Um, I used to do it that way all the time and now I have a different way of doing it which we're going to talk about today. This is another type of drain. This is the one that we're going to use. Now this has those same grooves in it. So water can escape. Now this is going to go right down onto the pipe I'm going to set it down and we're going to be about an inch above the floor and then what we're going to do is we'll bring our um, sand mix our shower pan that we're building right to the level with this all the way around and then we're going to do um, hydroban on here which is a paintable membrane to waterproof the shower I want to show you one more drain here. It's the Hydroban drain by Laticrete. Now this drain I highly recommend. I use this drain on almost all of my projects. Very simple to use. Looks nice. The finished product does. Here's a picture of what it looks like before the shower pan's done. And then I have another one here of what it looks like when the shower pan's done and the tile's done. Now I have some videos on my website in Tile University that you can come and watch that will show you how to build the shower pan using this particular drain. It is really the same exact way as what you're going to see in these other videos, but come and check it out if you're interested. And so I had to do this drain, which, you know, it's not really too hard to do it. Basically you prime it, and I already did the other, the main pipe, and then we're just going to cement it. Same thing with this pipe. And then you don't have much time, but you got time, and then you just slide it down into place where you want it. And just make sure it's on the pipe good. And that's it. So basically, Brady, you can get a good angle here for us. Down to the floor, you can see how high it is here. And what's going to end up happening is I'm going to put sand under the sand mix under here, and this is where the pipe or the that's what's going to support the pipe then. And so this is how high our pan is going to end up being. And then when we're all done, this goes on, and it's adjustable if we need to adjust it higher or lower but basically we'll get this screwed down to the level of the tile and that's where it'll sit and then water can drain on top of the tile right into the top here and there'll be spots where it can get underneath the drain if it does get that far um, one of the reasons why I don't like to use a shower pan liner is because the way a shower pan liner works is when water comes down into the shower, hits the tile, goes through the grout, into the shower pan, all the way down through the shower pan before it hits the liner, and then it drains from the liner into the drain. Well, 
it's good that you're not going to leak all the way through the floor, but why would you want to allow the water to go through all of those things? Why wouldn't you want to stop it at the top? And that's why I like to use a paintable membrane because I don't want all that water going all the way down through the shower pan, the sand mix, which will be hard. It'll be cement by the time it dries and then go to the drain. If it gets that far, what happens? Well, eventually it gets mold and mildew inside there. And I just don't want to always have a constant wet shower pan. I'd rather just per stop it right at the top. And that's why I do it this way. And so we'll go through this more and I'll show you exactly what we're going to do with the membrane when we get to that point. But right now we're going to just work on getting this shower pan going and then I'll show you exactly what we're going to do from this point on. 